Yes, what is food from wood? It's a scientific research project uh, in which we want to find out how we can produce food from wood. That's the only thing about this title. And it means what it says. We want to find out how we can produce good food for humans with only uh, plant debris and wood-based uh, materials um, that we can find everywhere in huge amounts uh, on this planet because cellulose uh, is the most abundant natural polymer in this world. All the plants together they produce 28 trillion tons of cellulose each year. That's around the, the energy amount of 1 million liter oil uh, per person on this planet. So that's a really huge, huge amount of, of wood that we have on this planet. And mostly is uh, unused uh, by humans. Why? Because we can't digest it. If we could digest wood and if we could come uh, to use that energy that is stored that in the wood, it's, uh, it's chemically stored solar energy, if we could use that as humans, only 500 grams of wood would uh, be needed to cover uh, the energy intake of a human person. That's not the much, li I mean this piece um, would be enough for me for two or two, three uh, days to eat. But we can't do that because we don't have an enzyme to cut um, the multiple uh, glucose uh, parts of this uh, cellulose polymers. So only some organisms can do so. That's primary fungi and microorganisms like bacteria. And sometimes we think, yeah, but also, you know, I've seen some larvae of uh, insects inside of, uh, of wood, so they can eat wood. That's not exactly true, because uh, this insect, they can't eat the, the wood. They can uh, just chew the wood and bring it together with microorganisms in their digestive tract. And there, these microorganisms, they can, they can um, open up the, the cellulose thing and be, and the insects nourish themselves from these microorganisms in the digestive uh, tract. But we, what we can do, if we have some wood, we can cultivate first mushrooms on this wood and if the wood is burnt out from the work of the edible mushrooms we can present these pieces of wood to insect larvae especially to coleoptera larvae, beetle larvae that are specialized on eating this kind of material if it's massive uh, white rotten wood that's very that's uh, exactly the material that uh, stag beetles like that's what you need, uh, that what you know already if you're uh, cultivating or breeding uh, and rearing a beetle larvae. But if it comes to plant material like uh, leafy material, that is today, now to, this is, uh, today is the month of October, Every, everybody is collecting the leaf material, just, just throw it away on, the, on a compost pile and wait, but this is the perfect food for roast chevre larvae. And most of these larvae are traditionally eaten in uh, countries where these big larvae live, especially in Africa and, and Asia. So we can cultivate insects on this kind of uh, plant material, wood-based of course also, because old leaves is mostly only the uh, cellulose structure left inside and of course also with rotten uh, wood. And that's the process we want to do and we want to make a research project how we can reorganize the composting process for the benefit of humans so that we can produce uh, nourishments and, and high quality proteins uh, for humans while composting plant material. So and the rest that the leftovers from the insects 
uh, is a very good gardening soil and we also found and other uh, scientists have uh, already proved it that the larvae of coleoptera uh, insects and especially um, some kind of uh, dynasties and um, uh, um, uh, beetles they can produce nitrogen with their microorganisms in the digestive tract and they, we found that the substrate uh, that this insect larvae or leftovers from this insect larvae is three times uh, as, as big in nitrogen content than the substrate that they have eaten so um, it's clear that the nitrogen must come from somewhere and, and it is found that the nitrogen, nitrogen comes from the air because three quarters of the volume of our air here is, uh, is nitrogen in a very very um, inert stage because these two nitrogen uh, atoms they stick together very very uh, good so we, we need a lot of energy to take these two nitrogen atoms uh, apart from each other to, to form other molecules that can be uh, digested or took over by, by um, living organisms and the microorganisms in the digestive tract of this larvae, they can do that. They can fix uh, the nitrogen from the air. And that's kind of a fertilizer production that they do. And if you know that we, we, on, in a global scale, we need around 5% of the electric energy that we produce on this planet for producing uh, nitrogen fertilizers for our agriculture. So it would be nice to have this kind of a natural nitrogen fertilizer production with insects. That's also part of the project uh, Food from Wood. We also want to find out which insects are the best for what kind of substrate, because of course substrate they can differ not only the quality of the wood, but the but the species of the trees and the leaves and whatever. Uh, we must find find out how we can. M organize this process so that we can use it in third world countries where they don't have um, enough of uh, technical stuff and they don't need it to and one of the advantages of producing proteins with insects is also that we don't need any water the water that is inside of the substrate is enough for the whole life cycle of this insect so mostly you don't have to re-wet uh, the substrate. They take the humidity out of the substrate that they need. So that's very, very important for countries where water um, is getting very rare. So it's much, much better than uh, producing proteins with, um, for example, cattle or pigs or, or chicken or whatever. Uh, FAO found out that um, producing... Uh, protease with insects is 10 to 100 times uh, better than producing pigs in green gas um, exposure. So we, if we produce uh, insects, proteins, we have 10 to 100 times less uh, green gases produced compared with uh, pigs that, uh, meat that we produce meat. With. That's very important also for our climate, and this is another factor that um, could be important for the Food from Wood uh, project. We hope we can start next year at the University of Applied Sciences Zurich on the campus Weidenswil, that's the campus um, on the shore of the uh, Lake of Zurich. If you're interested, just come back um, and uh, or subscribe this video channel so we will come back and and add some updates from time to time or you just go to uh, our homepage www.foodfromwood.ch that's it thanks for watching